If your short game is causing you problems now with wedge in hand, you're dropping shots where you shouldn't be, this should be a scoring situation, then this could be the video for you. We're going to look at two different drills that are going to make you an all-round better wedge player, and you're going to set up the ball probably far differently than you are right now. Right, you're going to notice I've got three clubs in my hand. Two are going to be used as alignment sticks, and this is a 52-degree wedge that we're going to be hitting at that green very, very shortly. We've got a 100 yards out now the problem i have is i can be I'm, I'm dropping shots from this kind of situation and i should be putting for birdie from in and around here shove them to one side for a minute and basically we're going to look at what we're going to do with the club itself in terms of alignment and address and this is key i've done something very similar to this on a video from uh, mr short game and it's basically if you're like me, when you address that ball, what you're going to do is you're going to set up very much square. So this is what you're looking at right now. Let me get a line to target. My club face is square. I'm pointing directly at that flag. And that's not how I should be aligned. Yeah, stick with me. What we're going to do is we're going to put the club out in front of us. What I'm looking at right now is square at 12 o'clock. I'm just going to turn it to one o'clock. Now then, what I'm going to do at that point, lay your club behind the ball, and now you can see it looks open at address. Now we're not going to grip the club at this point, we're going to get ourselves set up at that one o'clock position, that open position, and then we're going to adopt our grip. Now what that does, effectively more than anything, it has a couple of things that we're going to learn later on in this video but allows you to meet that ball and use the bounce a little bit more than you ordinarily would with a wedge so that's one reason you might do it but the other reason is how we're then going to close that club face up that becomes square through impact and that's going to take a little bit of a change in alignment of both our feet and our shoulders and that's where we need these alignment sticks today's episode of testing the tips comes from alex elliott golf he's becoming an absolute go-to for me right now and this one is no different stay tuned and make sure you stay till the end because it produces some incredible results now depending on which channel you're watching this on or the average golfer or testing the tips channel then as ever i appreciate your support and make sure you hit that subscribe button right let's get back to this tip okay so alignment sticks what are they going to do well we're going to sort of counteract the fact that we've got an open club face we're going to get our feet pointing left of target so first of all if i just get myself set up with my feet position which is pointing left of target so we're going to move that a little bit forward i'm a bit too far away from wedge in hand i'm going to grab wedge so i've got an open club face but I've also got a stance that is open as well to that left-hand side. But what we're going to do is we need another alignment stick because we're going to do something slightly different with our shoulders. So let me put that down. And we're going to have our shoulders pointing more at target. So these shoulders at target, legs are slightly open. Yeah, it's very confusing, I know. And that club face is slightly open as well. There are three key positions that you must make sure you adopt. Now, get yourself into that routine, just keep on going. So straight away, first thing we do, get that club out in front of you, get it to one o'clock, drop it down behind the ball, then adopt your grip. Then we're gonna open that stance up a little bit, but we're gonna square our shoulders. And all these things are gonna to align to this absolutely fantastic shot that you're gonna see me hit right now. Now then, I hope I've pressed record on the camera because I'm not too sure I've done that many things here. I'm a little bit further away from the ball than I want to be, so let's just move that in a bit. Let me make sure that's all. So, legs are open, clubs open, shoulders hopefully are square. And now all I've got to do is remember to hit the damn golf ball. Now that is not long enough, but it's right at the flag. Well, it's not too far off, but it was such a crisp strike. I'm going to adopt a little bit of a longer swing, see if I can get to that to the flag. We were playing 100 to the uh, flag. I've used a 52 wedge. I'm not really bothered about where that's finished distance-wise. All you'll know is the ball flight was incredibly straight. I'm going to hit one more ball. I'm going to run through that drill one more time. It's a bit confusing, but once you get into your head, it's a real key and effective setup. And I'll bet you, you start to hit your wedges straighter and crisper. Right, so first of all, I'm going to get it to one o'clock. 
In fact, I'm going to do it with one hand so that I don't adopt my grip. So where are we looking at? That's where I'm looking at. That's my open club face. Now I've got my grip. Legs are now pointing. It's easier with alignment sticks, obviously, but my legs are pointing left of target and my body, or my chest rather, shoulders are pointing at target. And put all them together. We're going to give this a little bit more. Hopefully we don't lose our kind of fluidity and we hit another decent wedge shot. Okay, now that's right at the flag. Hopefully we've got a bit more distance in there. Yeah, that's spot on. The interesting thing for me, again, was just the straightness of that ball flight. Nice, easy swing. I've got to admit, if I'm sort of summarizing this, perhaps feels a little bit odd um, in terms of having faith in that position that you're adopt because it goes against the grain of certainly what I would normally set up for in terms of wedges. So that'd be, that's something you've got to, you know, to ch change the mindset, have faith in it, try it. It's another very short and sweet one from Alex Elliott, which I absolutely love the fact that that's exactly what they are, short and sweet. But if you want Alex's full explanation, then make sure you hit that link below and you'll find full details of Alex's video. So don't forget, start it off, club face, one o'clock, adopt your grip, stance, leg wise or feet wise, slightly left to target, shoulders square to target, just swing that damn club and see if it works. And I reckon, based on what you've just seen, it could work. Good luck. I hope it goes well for you. Like I said, all these things need practice. And this one in particular for me, it needs something in the head to just accept it when I stand at the ball. So I'm gonna have to work on that one a little bit, but it's all about just finding out a little bit of nugget of information that might unlock the scoring in your game. So good luck, hope it works. And as ever, I'll see you very soon.